Hey guys, it's Mike from Sunny Soap Homestead, and today we're gonna go check on Patches because he's not doing good once again. What's up, guys? Bah! You guys a little hungry? Huh? Woo! You're fogging things up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Patches, he's having that urinary problem again. And uh, I think I know what's causing it. All right, the fun part is, is I got to catch that guy right there, Patches. I got to flip him on the side and see how his, uh, his thing's doing. And then we'll go over some small improvements that I've made around the area and what our future plans are. All right, here goes nothing. He knows. He knows. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to have to use some feed. So the problem I think I've been having with his urinary tract thing is the fact that we've been feeding alfalfa. And I didn't know that alfalfa wasn't acidic enough, even though it's it really good and nutritional, but it's not acidic enough to break down those crystals in their urine stream. And then uh, they've been on a sweet feed as well. So I think that's what's been causing his urinary tract issues. They do have a mineral bucket and I have been putting mineral in their food, but I don't think it's enough. So we got that ammonium chloride on order and we're gonna start putting that in their food. And we're gonna start giving him some drenches of that stuff, but we'll be mixing it with orange juice is what I read up on. Uh, otherwise it'll, it'll burn their esophagus. So I'm gonna try to sneak up on this guy and see if I can catch him. But he knows. He is smart. He is smart. Now, the only problem is if I catch him, I have a good chance that mom's going to headbutt me because she's real protective. I told you, he don't play around. The guy's got eyes on the back of his head. I swear. Yep, now, now he ain't going to come near me. I'm going to go get the lasso. It's the only way I'm going to be able to catch him got the lasso out and I don't know if you guys know this but I'm a goat roper from way back so what's up goat roper yep we're just gonna have to uh, let him get in the distance and shooting range and go from there I could walk up to him but I wouldn't catch it on the camera so I'm gonna do a little curtsy do -si do and uh, we're gonna do some cowboy <laughs> shit I told you I was a goat roper from way back. I think you got some bloat. That's what you got. You got bloat. Hell, I should have had him by both back legs, but he's quick. He's real quick. But enough of that. Let's go over the amenities that I've recently installed in my goat pen. Mama, I literally just bought you something so you won't do that to my fence no more. Oh, sorry guys, we can't put that on video and I probably should have washed my hands. But let's check out what I bought. That's gonna help scratch their backs when they need it the most. Check it out. What I did is I took a broom, just a cheap $15 push broom from like Home Depot and I cut all the stuff off the backside of it and I screwed it to a tree. Now, they can rub all up against this all they want. And maybe, maybe they'll stay off my fence because there's a couple spots that I need to put some T-post in and they're really rubbing it down. So hopefully this keeps them off my fence. And then also, I kind of built them a little bit of clubhouse and gave them something else to do. Let's go check that out now. Oh, it's okay, bud. It's okay. It's okay. He's still a little butt hurt, but look at that, guys. Took all that scrap wood that I had. I took a bunch of logs that I had sitting around, and I kind of made them a little platform to hang out and chill out during the day. And I got them this cool little ball that they can sit in and headbutt. But I haven't seen them use it yet. 
I was kind of hoping they would. Come on. I play with it more than they do. Don't ride off while I'm talking to y'all. Make it this bike, man. We all think y'all are. I haven't seen them use this yet. But I figured, I see all these goat videos of goats ramming these, these like, I don't know, they call it a jolly ball. And I see them using the heck out of it. Now my dog, absolutely love this thing. So, to you too. But this platform, oh my God, they absolutely love it. And my plan is, is I'm gonna stretch it out to all of these trees around here and kind of make a big little circle, a walk path. And I wanna kind of give them stuff to jump off of on the sides. So, it's a work in progress. Trying to keep them out of trouble, keep them occupied so they don't tear my stuff up. But so far, I haven't seen them use this ball yet. But the day's coming, I think it is. But like I was saying, I found out that alfalfa is only good for goats that are milking or mothers. Uh, from what I read, it's, it's horrible for boys, especially castrated, castrated goats it's horrible for. I guess it doesn't have enough acid inside of its um, you know, buildup to break down those crystals like I was saying. So I have to get some either brome grass or possibly Timothy uh, hay and go from there. And uh, besides, you know what? I think I'm gonna move them to a different pasture, get them out of this pen a little bit, give this pen a little bit time to recover because they have just, they have just eaten everything down. Like four feet up, sometimes five feet up, they've just cleared this whole area out. We got rid of that dog fence. That dog fence that I used in here to keep the hay in, we wind up trashing it because the goats were getting their heads caught in it. It was all tangled up and busted up. So don't use that stuff. We wind up putting that sheep and goat fence, a little extra scrap that I had in there. That wind up doing the trick. The only problem is they're still pulling way too much hay out of here and there's a lot of waste. He's trying to pee and he's not, he's getting a little bit of a stream out. Yep, you're peeing, bud. You're peeing. All right, so like I was saying, um, there's still a ton of waste. They're wasting it like no one's business. So I gotta find something different out because this stuff isn't cheap, especially if you're buying it at Bomb Guards or that's our tractor supply kind of store here. Stuff's like $19 a bale. Until I can find a place to store it, I'm gonna have to probably put it in my barn. But uh, usually I can buy this stuff for about $5 a bale. And that's probably like second cutting of the year or something. But seven dollars is probably the highest in my area that goes for that. A lot cheaper than this. I just haven't found the source yet, nor have I looked for it, to be honest. But I have to have a place to store it. And rodents can be a big issue. And nobody wants you going by like one or two bells at a time. They like to sell 25 or so at a time. So but back to what I was saying, I am jumping all over with this video. What we want to do is you guys, I've never taken you on the back acreage. I got about four acres on the other side of these woods, on this, you know, in front of the house. And it's just getting way overgrown. I was out there with my Kubota pushing some trees down. Yeah, well, trees, bushes, you want to call them. Pushing some stuff down. And it just dawned on me that, you know, I've got some lawnmowers uh, that I feed and pay to feed. And I got an electric fence. I'm thinking I'm going to stick them out there for about a week or two. I let them go to town. And um, that's gonna help with old Boots' uh, Boots and um, Patches' little problems they have here. Boots isn't having that many problems, but I can tell it's starting, to, it's starting to set in. What I've read on the internet is they need plenty of fresh greens. Plenty of fresh greens. They want you to cut off grain, any type of alfalfa like this. They said stop feeding it and go with the, some fresh greens. So that's what we're gonna do. So here in the near future, we're gonna be going on vacation, but here in the near future, we'll be, uh, we'll be putting them in back to four acres and I'll show you how dense that stuff is out there and we'll see what they can do in a week's time. All right, well, I apologize. It wasn't a very exciting video. I mean, you guys did get to see me rope a goat, I think. I'll have to check that footage, make sure it got caught, but 
you did see me rope a goat so i'm officially on youtube a goat roper hey that might be a new channel name goat roper sunny slope goat roper i think i'm on to something but anyway guys i appreciate you watching like always be sure to hit that subscribe button you guys know my saying it don't cost you nothing and it does us a lot of good. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Man, if you really like it, share this video. But that's all I had today. We'll keep an eye on old uh, Patches there and see how he's doing. I'll give you guys an update if he takes a turn for the worst, but I don't think he will. We got the ammonium chloride coming in. He should be all right. So, all right, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Good night. I kind of heard on another page that... Them cougars want to see them boys with them shirts off. So, guess what? It's hot. I'm rolling with my shirt off. Take, take some of it off! Woo! It's hot. Put, put, put some of it off! God, I'm fat and nasty.